guys, my name is Ome Kalon. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a goosey pudding. It's one of my favorite meals and it's both from Western and Littoral regions of Cameroon. So let's get into the kitchen and see how I do it. Before all guys, I would like you to subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost anything. And like, comment and share the videos. I took some blended melon seed, commonly called a goosey. I also have a good quantity of beef, some smoked fish, red chili pepper, two eggs, black pepper, and some leaf to tie my egusi. I will use a grinding stone and grind some chili pepper and black pepper. Then put the beef into a pot, add some salt and water, let it boil for around 15 minutes. Then add 10 other eggs into it and let it boil for around 8 minutes. Then remove the eggs from fire and put it into fresh water. I will continue by adding the smoked fish into the meat, add some water and let it cook for another 15 minutes. Then I will put another pot on fire, add some water and then gently place some leaves into the pot. This is to avoid that my goosey pudding shouldn't burn and also to avoid that water should get into my goosey pudding. I will close the pot and let it boil. These are my eggs grind pepper, some seasoning. I will continue by mixing my blended egusi. Then add some, add the meat juice into it and mix it up very well. Mix it up very well and make sure there's no lumps into it. If there's any, grind them up. I will continue by adding two raw eggs into the egusi. The eggs will help the egusi not to dislocate. Then I mix it up very well until it's homogeneous. Then I will add some chili pepper and black pepper. Mix it up very well. And add the beef and dry fish. Mix it up again very well and add some seasoning, the seasoning of your choice of course. Then I mix it very well. I'll add some oil, the oil will help the goosey not to stick onto the leaf. I mix it up very well. Then I gently place my goosey into the leaf and I add some eggs. I close it. Then I use a rope and tie it up very well. I gently place it into the pot. Close the pot and continue with the second one. Add some eggs, close the leaf, then tie it up very well and place it into the pot. Close the pot and let it cook for at least two hours. I've added some yams into it for those who eat yams, but I would prefer eating it with uh, some cassava paste. This is how it looks like when ready. It's really delicious. That was it for my goosey pudding. I'll advise you guys to do it at home. It's such a delicious meal. You will enjoy it. Also, send me pictures of it on my Instagram. The link will be at the description below. That was it for today. See you on my next one. Bye-bye.